In example number 16, we need to write the equation of the graph of the absolute value. The vertex is at negative 1, comma 2, so that's going to be my h, comma k, because the vertex has been moved over one unit to the left and up 2. So when I fill in those values into the equation, I have a times the absolute value of x, minus a negative 1, and then plus 2 to move it up. Minus a negative 1 is the same as plus a positive, so I have y equals a times the absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2. So before I can finish this equation, I need to figure out what a is. And to do that, I'm going to pick any point on the absolute value graph. Um, here's 1, comma 4. So that's going to be my point x, comma y. And I'm going to substitute that in here for x and y in the equation. So since y is 4, 4 is equal to a times the absolute value of x, which is 1, plus 1 plus 2. So now I can combine like terms and simplify using order of operations. So 1 plus 1 inside the absolute value is 2. Then um, 2 times my a gives me 4 equal to 2a plus 2. I'm trying to get the a by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And 2 is equal to 2a. Divide both sides by 2 and the a is equal to 1. So when I put that back in to this step, I'll have finished uh, the equation of the line that graphs this absolute value. So y is equal to a which is 1 times the absolute value of x plus 1 plus 2. And that's the final answer.